I'm reviewing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm turning into a movie reviewer. Don't mind the thing on the screen. It's like person too close to camera. I guess, I don't know. So by now you guys have probably seen Harry Potter. In fact, I'm, I'm wearing a Harry Potter shirt right now. See? Harry Potter. And well, today I'm going over my favorite movie and book, The Sorcerer's Stone. Or Philosopher's Stone for literally everybody else in the world. What I'm calling it. But just when you have some people international around here. Like, people international watching my channel. For this video, I'll just call it The Philosopher's Stone for those people. Because I know, I can guarantee you that there's somebody that's not from America that watches my videos. So just for those people, there you know already, I'm still going to call it the Philosopher's Stone since it'll be everywhere except America calls it that. Ooh. That looks cool. Anyways. So the movie is, so the book is different, starts differently than the movie. Well, we're going over the movie. The movie starts with Harry and Dumbledore talking about salt and I don't know. And it's like, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Sure, I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, I really don't know what they were talking about. Anyways, it cuts to Mr. Dursley going to his workplace. And he finds some very unusual things, including a cat reading a map. Don't ask. I've been Hogwarts and just sit back and watch the movie in a week so two week in a week so this is <laughs> Ah, now we meet our main character, Harry Potter. He lives under the stairs. Good parenting. Even though they're not his parents. We'll get into that later. This explains the last name. So, oh, good old Dudley. I don't know what I'm going to call him Dudley. So that means like, yo, I'm going to bang on the stairs so you can get up and leave the room. And Mrs. Dursley's all like, leave the room, Harry. Come on. And Harry's like, I don't know. So yeah, you know, he comes out, and a couple of days later, he gets a letter, and, and Dudley's all like, "Harry's got, Harry got mail, Harry got mail, Harry got mail," and Harry's all like, "No, no, 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 no," and it's like, oh. "This is like Hogwarts, no." And then there's like a bunch, and the owls are acting really strange, and then a bunch of letters just come in. Yeah, because that's the logical reason. Good old dummy door coming in. So, you know, they move, like, they go to, like, a lighthouse or something, I don't know. And then Hagrid bursts through the door as soon as midnight hits, which is at Harry's birthday. Like, 11th birthday? I don't, I don't know. But still, like, uh, breaking and entering to get a kid to go to school. Also, in the movie, he confuses Zelda for Harry. That was funny. And also rage inducing because he's so dumb. He doesn't do that in the book, though. And then he says the iconic line, You're a wizard, Harry. And everybody's like... So then Hagrid just becomes a... Becomes a, a, a rad dude. Yeah. And he literally just... Dents a gun. But he was even more of a rad dude in the book. Where he literally ties the gun into a knot. And Mrs. Dursley's all like... Oh. And Mrs. Dursley's all, Dursley's all like... And Dudley's all like, oh, and Harry's all like, yay. So then Harry goes to Hogwarts, uh, and then he gets to, like, the Hogwarts Express. And then he meets Ron. Ron no, wait, no, I think, oh, yeah. He goes to Diagon Alley first. And he gets his wand, and he's, like, super cool, and, he, and he's destructive. And then he meets Ron Weasley, his new friend. So Ron's all like, hey, um, every other stage is taken. Can I sit here? And Harry's like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then Ron's like, I'm Ron, by the way. And then Hermione's in like, yo, th this kid named Neville or something, he like lost something. And I'm such a spoiled, annoying brat, you know? And I'm, I'm a mom, so I'm, so I'm not, so I'm kind of new to this whole magic thing. And, and Harry's like, 
No, I haven't seen that lost item, no. And then Ron's like, yeah, same here. And then Hermione's like, he's gonna get really mad. Everybody hates him anyways. And then it's like, <laughs> and then like, you know, everything is fine. And they get to Hogwarts and it's like, whoa. And Harry just pops out out of nowhere. Not slithering, not slithering, not slithering. And his wish gets granted. And it also gets granted in the book, too. Except in the book, he just says in his head. Apparently, it's something I can read his mind. Because he got a Gryffindor. Another Weasley. I know just what to do with you. Hufflepuff. Oh, shut up. You're not in this review. What? Oh, come on. No, no, no. No, you were just used for one scene. This is a tricky one. Gryffindor. So, yeah, Harry gets Gryffindor. So he goes there. I mean, they fight, and then there's like a bunch of other stuff going on. And then he finds out that this shady dude killed his parents. Which is why he's living with the Dirt Boy, uh, his, his mom's brother and sister, I guess you could say. Okay, yeah, so anyways, continuing on. So, you know, everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Harry's all like, I'm gonna fight this dude with Rod. And then why do you like... I'm taking the blame, and then there's like, that's a, like, the, the, something points off your house for the house cup. And she's like, oh shoot, what did I just do? She's like, this is bad, whatever teachers do at Hogwarts. And then the principal, Mr. Dumbledore, sir, Harry the so yeah, and then he like destroys his sister or something. Uh, but sorry, sorry. The loss of her stone for you're not for you not Americans. I'm trying to be weird and say my thing. I'm just gonna say philosophers, even though I'm American. I can do a pretty British accent accent very well though. Sometimes I wonder if it's just my actual my natural voice. Sometimes I don't even realize that I'm doing it until somebody points it out and says, "Hey, you sound like Harry Potter." Actually, you kind of sound more like Ron Weasley. Fun fact: I took um, I took a quiz to see what Harry Potter character I am. I am, and apparently, I'm Ron Weasley. And mine. <laughs> I asked my friend to take the same quiz, and he came out as Hermione because it was like it said, "You are Hermione because of your." Because you were a dumb, annoying brat in your first few years at school. And it's like, ah! But it was back around the movie, you know, we're all happy. And then Gryffindor wins the house cup, and then the movie ends. And then, yeah, I did Harry gets all his second bedroom. Second bedroom, the second movie. But we're not doing a Chamber of Secrets review today. Because I am just, mm, I did a review of the whole movie. So overall... Sorcerer's Stone? No, sorry. Philosopher's Stone. For you non-Americans. Um... 64 million out of 10 stars. 64 million stars out of 10. Sorry, out of 5. That's just how good it was. Of course, there are some flaws, like the CGI is kind of a little meh. Is just gonna throw that out there. I mean, this movie, although the movie, can you blame them? The movie came out in 2001. I wasn't even alive. I th although I think that's pretty obvious. I was not alive in 2001. Not, not, not at all. <laughs> Seven years ago. Us to the second place, let inside of the new game, let inside of all the things, yeah, oh yeah, the things that you go out. 
yeah, there was a Harry Potter in the sorcerer. In, sorry, the last of first stone review. I can't believe I keep messing that up. Anyways, that's the four of you. See you guys in the next one. Bye.